recommend going to the scene. You can't do it on Discord? Uh, no, I could do it on Discord. That'd probably be yeah. easier. Yeah, stream live on Discord, yeah. Okay. Get the same resolution over there. No, it's not going to be in 4K. No, it won't be in 4K. Okay, yeah, okay, watch I'll it go on to YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, okay, we'll do. Okay, did you post uh, the thing anywhere? The, the link? If anywhere? you go to YouTube, type in TW, TWC underscore Black Knight, you'll find my channel right away. Okay. That Lord button. Yeah, hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> Pointing on. Uh, no, no, she didn't. Okay, great. Yeah. Is it the Black Knight or the picture of the moth uh, and, and everything? No, TWC Black Knight, click on any one of the videos, but I want you to then click on my channel. So click on my name. It should take you right to my channel, and at the top of my channel, you'll see the live broadcast. Oh, I see it playing right now, yeah. Uh, uh, live, yeah. Blenny Bombardier Raid, is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. And yeah, 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 I'm, I'm looking at it. Do me a favor, is the chat window up? Can you chat? I'm seeing it, Harry, I'm no, there. No, 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 I'm asking you a question. Is the chat window up to the right of the video that you could type a message into me? Do you see live chat or the chat live? Yes, I'm. Yes, it's up. So send me some messages like, hey, Black Knight, how's it going, I, or whatever. I just chat. sent you a message. Perfect. I want to see if my That's chat right. box is working. I've been wanting to test that for ages. Uh, the chat message works. is up. Good, 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 good. And I sent you a message. I said, hey, it looks good. Copy. Thank you. All right, we're cruising along here. We are passing East Church. We are about ready to turn towards our directive. Again, this is Black Knight. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm flying with Anonymous on a bomber raid. Uh, my old po uh, partner, Toto, known for, gosh, going on almost 10, if not 12 years. Um, we've been together for quite some time. He's watching the video on YouTube. Uh, we're just uh, doing a bomber raid on Marquis West. We're doing um, an aspect of Cliffs of Dover that most people don't know about, that if you come into Warbirds of Prey server, you can launch a mission and just jump in a bombardier seat. You don't even have to fly the plane, but you can also jump in any one of the bombers and fly in formation with them and just drop your bombs when they drop their bombs. But if you don't have a flight stick or controls or anything like that, you can always go for a ride in a bomber. Um, you could jump in a bombardier seat. You could jump in as a gunner. Um, so the game has an aspect to it that if you're not into the flying, uh, you can always go for a ride in one of the missions. One thing I think Team Fusion could uh, add is linking the linking the turret to the mouse XY XY control 
maybe get a better get a better uh, gun control if it's operating with the mouse. So I think that could be a good thing Team Fusion could fix. So far so good, my system's holding up. Hopefully my system doesn't crash with this 4K broadcast. Um, shout out to Flug and Fatal. TWC Genghis Khan server is still pretty active. Um, Anonymous and I flew a hop over there this morning. Uh, gotten a couple of scraps with some 109s. Um, enjoyed it. Um, but sometimes it's nice just to take a break. Just jump in a bomber deer seat, grab your coffee, and go for a ride. Right now, we're passing over Canterbury Cathedral. Possibly be crossing right over Dover. And if you're just joining me on YouTube, uh, call signs Black Knight. Hit that like button and subscribe. I do a lot of uh, bomber formation flights with Anonymous. Um, we do some flights in uh, flying aircraft, Spitfires, Hurricanes, flying cover. We've flown in bombardier seats, corner seats, <laughs> just to get a, a full. You get. There's so much more to Isle 2 Cliffs of Dover than just dogfighting. So many people just get in here and all they do is just grab their favorite plane and go go dogfight. And yeah, more power to you, but you're, you're using about maybe half of what the game is capable of doing. Anonymous, you copy? You're copy. I think looking at the, the slight darkness, I might bump my gamma up just a little in NVIDIA. Yeah, might as well put the light on in the cockpit, it's fine now. Now, you're, you're playing in the bombardier seat or in the cockpit? No, in the bombardier seat. Oh. Light up. Oh, I've Roger. I've got my buttons in it, so in my cockpit, I'm on with the control. Yeah, it does it in, it, in the bombardier. Oh, so it does light up the bombardier seat as well? It does, mate, yes. Something else I've learned to do. I'll have to get a key binding for that. Only thing I've got is a key binding for the light for the gun sight. I've looked everywhere for the light, but I can't find it. <laughs> Everywhere, but yeah, I did post a video um, in the bug tracker uh, for Team Fusion for that Wellington to be able to yeah. move the toggle the gun sight dimmer 
wasn't working. If you join a flight, um, guys, that's not working. So if you are joining my channel from Team Fusion and you're watching, um, yeah, the, in the Wellington 1C late, if you join a bomber operations as a bombardier, I can't toggle the gun sight cover. It won't. It won't work with the mouse or the key binding. As we fly over Dover, Dover Harbor, we're headed across the channel. I'm going to get these guys and swing them in tight. So we're going to use the mission menu and command this group to swing in tight. As I said to the Team Fusion lads, if the recipient is maroon, then no, there should be no capabilities in dealing with um, navigation. If it's yellow, you should be able to grab who you're commanding, like Element. Now, I should be only commanding my group to tighten up. I shouldn't be commanding all the planes to tighten up. So I'm calling out to wing three, which is, I hopefully, my wing, because it's my element and I'm in the commanding plane. I, you know, thinking about it, I don't think the bombardier should have that capability. Yeah, it, it could go either way. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but if you go to navigation six, you have the ability to change formation and change spacing. I want to show you what changing spacing does when we get five minutes out, when I hear the radio call. And you know, this goes to the guys at Team Fusion and even to anybody else running a server. The nice thing about joining a flight is that you get to hear all of the radio callouts. So the communications of the bomber group and the fighter groups, you get to now be a part of the mission and the radio comms are all connected. Whereas before, if you're just jumping into a server, you don't hear any of the radio callouts on any of the groups. or any of the other wings that you might be flying with. Oh, here we go, five minutes. Are you ready, Anonymous? Let's let's tighten this let's tighten this package up. Here we go. Oops. Tab one element five. I better do it to the whole flight. Six, two, one. That is the mine. Yep, tightening up right now. Oh, it did it to yours? Did no, yours I'm start to... Mine. Yeah, mine got turned, but now they, they got... Yeah, they're all right, but it's gone like... No, wait a minute now, I have a question. When I hit it the first time, did yours start to move? Okay, it kind of went near, it went close and then went back to near, didn't it? Yeah. It kind of jerked and then stabilized. Yeah. Okay, so again, back to the Team Fusion guys. There's no way of, once you get into this, to having command over your own element. So you can do the whole flight, but you can't do the whole element. So when you look at that list, trying to get those separated and working, you know, accurately would be cool. I think that could be a, a much later patch. Looking into that coding within the tab menu, especially even in online play, that worked perfectly. So we can do that as a pilot. You could do that as a pilot or as a bombardier. 
drawing it in tighter helps helps get all the bombs mostly on target. When you're near or middle or far, your bombs aren't getting, your accuracy decreases. So it's always good to get them in a close formation. That's why that patch you guys had with being able to change the formation distances, um, I don't know, that was awesome stuff. I was ready to go in and fix all of my missions and make them correct. And then that patch got pulled. Then I had to go in and delete all of my work of trying to get all of my missions adjusted for all of their formations. You then pulled the patch. And then I had to go back into all of my missions and delete all of the work. Just saying. I, like I said, You've got myself and Anonymous. We fly every morning. If, if you want some serious testing done on some patches on some of this stuff, all right, I'm going to call in assistance, Anonymous. So I'm going to go zero. I'm going to go tab seven, four. And I requested some, some assistance. And then I'm going to go tab two. Get a little help me out there. Make sure our guys are focusing on these 109s. Yeah, we're clear. He just told me across the radio. Yep, yep. All right, getting ready to getting ready to lean into gun sight. Hit my lean into gun sight key and hopefully get these eggs on a building. How's that broadcast looking, Toto? Now the one thing in when you're in this kind of a position, you cannot um, jump seats. That's another thing for Team Fusion. I can't gain control of the plane, nor can I move to a gunner seat. What happens is it, it kills all the bombers. If you leave the aircraft or move to different positions, all the bombers dive into the ground and die. All right, go into release. That guy got smoked. All right, here we go. I'm going to hit the big yellow button and three, two, one. Bombs away. As all the bombs drop out of the aircraft, now we're just in for a ride home and just hope our gunner does his job. Get him, boys. Get him. Yeah, where's he at? Get him. I collided with another plane. Did you? Yeah, I'm going to. You're going to eject and grab another seat. Get back in the ride. Come bail. Yeah, you got to bail out. If you bail out, it won't kill the guys. Oh, yeah, smoke that guy. Another guy coming through. I'm going to request assistance again and a little help me. Hopefully our fighters get into this fight. Is everything all right? What are the bombers there? Yeah, everybody's still good, so you can jump into a bombardier seat. Well, no airplanes have dived down, have they? No! I got me and my two groups. Uh-oh. Somebody hit me hard. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going up. I'm coming back down. I don't know if I'm going straight down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got a bail. Again. I've got a bail. All right, hitting escape. I'm going to grab another bombardier seat. I got me and my and watch. Oh, they're all going down. Uh -oh. What's going on? Oh. What's happened? 
I have no idea. I'm spinning out. I'm spinning. I'm bailed out. My parachute. Just I like bailed that. out. Now, question: Did you hit the bailout, or did your guy hit the bailout? No, I, I pressed J to, to jettison the canopy, All right, and then I bailed out. I'm gonna grab oh, board. I just hit open the canopy. And right. hit bailed out. That's what killed us all. All right. So I guess yeah. now we we just learned a lesson. We've got a jettison. Yeah, jettison. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Look, look. Le Calm down. Whoop. Lesson learned. Again. Lesson learned. There's still some bombardiers in the air. Or are they yeah. all dead? I think they're all dead. Yep, they're all dead. All right, going back to Gravesend. Let's do a high alt one. Let's do an autumn burnt raid. We're gonna go to Big and Ill for that, aren't we? Yeah, no, no, we're gonna do um, Gravesend still. Really? Yeah, I think we gotta wait a few minutes. So this is what I would call a comfort break. Let's see how many minutes we got left. We got four minutes. I'm going to run a comfort break. Maybe jazz up the coffee a little bit. We'll be right back in four minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're watching the live stream, just wait four minutes. We'll be right back with another hop.
the stream going. Let's launch this raid. We said Autumn Bird. All right, four. Now we might have to wait a little bit for this group. Nope, they're in. 248 squadron. I grabbed a bombardier. All right, a little bit of higher altitude. Looks like they're bombing from 17,100. in. Got my bombardier seat. Um, and you're at Gravesend, right? Yeah. Try East Church. Yeah, you should you should see me. I can see you, but I can't. But you're in a hurricane. No, I'm not. I'm in a blenny. Nah, I've got to try again now. Yeah, yeah, try again. I'm at East Church now. Yeah, try East Church. Yeah, I'm sitting at East Church now. Copy. Uh, it doesn't look like we're over or even close to Gravesend. We're crossing over the rivers that go north out of, uh, out of London. Yeah, just hang out at Gravesend. I'll go back to Gravesend. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if you look at uh, the map, we're in Alpha Oscar 27. I'm looking at the rivers off my left wing going out of London. Right above the O in Alpha Oscar 27 on the map. Yeah, just give it a minute. That list should fill up. I crashed my head truck. Did I? No, you got to go back out and come back. If not, you got time. I'm sitting in the cockpit now, I'm looking out, waiting to see if anything flies over. Yeah, we're really high up. Go ahead and hit your escape key and see if you get a list. Okay, go go back to fly then. I'll let you know when I'm closer. I just... I would say that I'm approaching... Um, Looks like um, Stepney. Yeah, you're more you're more um, east, aren't you? Yeah, you're yeah. Well, no, we're way west. Oh, we're, you way west of me. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. We're way west. We're we're approaching the um, the uh, oil refineries at um, West Ham. I'm not going to see you in the cockpit for seventeen. Yeah, we're just outside London proper. No, I've got the strip bars now. Okay, strip. yeah, yeah, we're coming. The have just gone over.
The list show up now. Should be another minute. We'll be there. If you're just joining me, I'm going to check the live stream. Hopefully this doesn't screw anything up. All right. So, call signs Black Knight. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Just doing a live broadcast in... Uh, Warbirds of Praise server on the Isle 2 Cliffs of Dover Blitz to Brook Edition. Get it from Steam. Coming in. This is out there for any gentleman that is between the ages of, you know, late 30s, 40s, all the way up until your 80s. You don't need to buy all the flight equipment if you don't want to. If you want to enjoy Cliffs of Dover, you can enjoy it in a couple other different ways. Number one being a bombardier. Number two being a um, being a gunner. So you don't need to really buy all the equipment yet to enjoy the, the flight sim. But you can buy flight sim gear. You don't have to get it all right away. Um, but... I do recommend a lot of things. I do recommend Track IR. I do recommend a decent flight stick and a good set of rudder pedals. Um, I do recommend crosswinds. I don't get any money or any anything from these companies. I don't have any sales pitch for them. I'm building my own flight kit through the Authenticate stuff. So if you are a 3D printer and you do have a 3D printer, you can print your own 3D gear. Bombshell roll. Coming out nice. Toto, is the stream looking okay? I don't know if Toto's available. He might have stepped away. kind of a score we got on Marquis West. OBJ less than RED. Oh, we got Marquis West to 90%. That raid. We almost scored a full point on that one. Let's see if we can get 10 points and see if we can't win the battle. Let's see what happens.
got my dad the legend coffee mug for Father's Day. Got to yeah. like that. Yeah, I got a coffee mug that says dad and then written through it, it says the legend. <laughs> Again, if you're just joining us, Call Signs Black Knight, we're just going for a ride as Blenny Bombardiers. I should change those Wellingtons, and we should fly a Wellington hop next round and bomb like Calais or Boulogne. Yeah, I'll do that next. Shout out to the guys at Team Fusion. Keep working, fellas. You still got a lot of guys that still love this game and almost fly it exclusively. And we're encouraged about all of the stuff that you're working on. Turn on my air targets, report all contacts, I've turned it on. just about we're going to be making our turn to the right
Again, if you're just joining me, call Sancho Black Knight. I'm flying with my buddy Anonymous. We're flying uh, um, a Blenny raid. Um, a couple of them. We did a bombing of Marquis West Low. We're now doing a high altitude, about 17, not high, high altitude, but about 17,000 feet. Uh, Blenny raid on Autumn Burnt Airfield. Um, there's any blue pilots out there that want to get on and join us. I put a post in the A tag for them for a hop at three o'clock today. Uh, if you're interested, I'm looking for some Wellington pilots to or Blenny pilots from the Whippy Squad to join me uh, to see if we can make something unique work. So really looking forward to that hop today at three o'clock. Um, I didn't see anybody post on the forum, but maybe we'll get a few people today. I'll put a post out into the into the uh, team speak. Um, usually I'm on team speak when I join the ATAG community. I'm always sitting in the help and technical assistance. So if you ever need any technical assistance, um, you can also find me in the standard pilot's bar. If you do need any help with setting up IL2 Cliffs of Dover to really be a beautiful experience and before you buy any pieces, um, I know that the guys are working hard to get that 4K patch out um, and the new clouds. Um, it's only gonna make this game that much better. So if you, are, if you get started on it and you get things set up to what we have, when that 4K patch comes out, it's really going to look nice. I'm going to try a change formation, Anonymous. Tab 6, 1, 3. I think we are in a... I think we're in a V formation. Bending back into getting a near setup. Yeah, looking good. I'm coming back down to my group. Let's see what we got going on here in formations. Oh, wow. All right, so we're coming back together. We're right over the river that comes out at Dover Harbor. Not sure what that river's name is, if it is the Dover River. And coming all back together again. So for the guys at Team Fusion, if you noticed, we can command a formation change. But we need to make that specific for only if you're in a lead bomber. The other thing is, the one thing, if I hit my escape key, hopefully I don't mess anything up, but when we look at the menu of planes you get to choose, we need another column that tells you what the number is. If you don't have the number, you don't know what plane you're grabbing in the flight. You're, you're guessing. So if the if the number list in the mission menu says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 
that number needs to show up in the menu so that at least you know you're grabbing a lead bomber and that you then are in control of the flights and the wings. But anybody else, if you're jumping in a bombardier seat or you're jumping in a plane that is not in, in charge of a flight or in, flight in charge of a wing, you shouldn't have any command over the group. So like the only way I could command the group is if I grabbed um, one of the leads if I grabbed one of the leads and I was in the bombardier seat, I should have control over the recipients. Or you might even say if you're in a bombardier seat, you have no control over the recipients. However, it is nice to get them in a tighter formation before they bomb. We've, we've, we've been enjoying that. Right now, the bombers are set to a near formation. We're getting lined up on Autumnberg here. When they say when they say five minutes to target, then I'll uh, I'll shift them to a near formation. So that they really tighten up. As I said before, the other the other aspect that is really cool in doing it this way, if you have an air spawn base and you call in your own flight of bombers, then they should be bombing on your lead. So when your doors open, their doors open. When you release your bombs, they all release their bombs. Um, I don't know if you can incorporate maybe uh, with the map, I was talking about this before. In in the map, before you take off, create your own flight plan, and then when you go to tools, you create a target, place the target on the map. Don't call it waypoint. Call it airfield. You know, go airfield factory. You can label it. And that's the target they bomb on. Maybe incorporate some of what Flug has done with the Knickerbine point. They all now bomb on that target. Or five minutes to target. Okay, let's tighten it up. So tab six, two, one. All right, getting ready to drop these bombs. All the boys are coming in. Getting ready to report fighters. Hopefully anybody that's watching from Team Fusion, we're just coming up with some great ideas that's already within the coding. All of this stuff is already there within the menu. You can really incorporate a, a new dynamic to the online play. All right, my friend, lined up on Autumnberg. Here we go. We are now bombing from 17,000 feet. Hopefully, we've got some decent cover. <laughs> Hopefully. I think I'm going to do a tab 7 for ask for assistance anyways. Even though there's nothing here yet. I do see planes over the coastline. I had that one light, light, light gray dot. All right, here we go, Anonymous. You with me? <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain, Mr. Anonymous, you alive? Or did you take a phone call? Um, the other thing we noticed is on the voice volume, 
if there's any way that you can turn up those voices. Any way that you guys can turn up that. We thought about doing it with Audacity volume booster, maybe bringing it up five decibels, but it's just when you're in the game with the sound, it's just not, the voice isn't loud enough. Anyways, all right, zooming into bomb site, everything set. Let me check my settings. I'm closer to 17.2. Okay, 17.2. Speed is exactly 170. Speed is exactly 170. All right, here we go. All right, in the bombers, ready to go. Anonymous crossing over with Sun. Looking at Autumn Bird. wind up here. Bombs away. All right, now it's just a survival run home. Again, if you're just joining me, we just went on a Blenny raid on Autumn Burn Airfield. Anonymous and I are flying as bombardiers, just going for a coffee hop ride this morning. Um, if you're looking to join us, we usually start flying at 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, roughly around noon, one o'clock. Looking for more uh, bomber pilots to join us in the group. Give us some good chat banter online. I'm gonna check to see if we got anything on Autumn Bird. Only got 36%. Turning for home, haven't seen any fighters. Maybe those are our cover aircrafts doing a heck of a job fending them off. I have a feeling some 110s are going to be coming in here.
I think we're just getting lucky. Those fighters must have drew the intercepts down low. We're getting lucky. I got them registering at Cherub 7. I think we got lucky. Those fighters drug them down low. Yeah, it's been kind of nice. It's been flying crisp. How about yours? Yep, yeah, fine. Now this mission's turning out really well. Glad the live stream is playing really well. Not running into any errors, I think. So again, if you're just joining me, call signs Black Knight. Hey, welcome to the YouTube channel. Just got done with a, a bomber hop with my buddy Anonymous. Just bombed Autumn Bird. Raid was only 36% successful, but again, bombing from 17,000 feet. Now we're headed home. Hopefully we'll make that final turn for Rocheford. Too far away from Luton. Oh, I got a fighter off my right. Look like a spinny. Look, looks like we looks like we definitely had some decent cover this round. fellas you're taking us back over the target area start turning for home I wonder if the loiter, there's a loiter on this file. Because we're turning back towards the target area. I'll have to take a look at that. I don't think there is. All right, I see guns tracking on my lead plane. We're turning for home now. Yep. Dropping some altitude. Yeah, 
I think we're making our turn home. So, as I was saying before, it, even if you don't have all of the flight controls and you just have your mouse, you can work everything in the blending cockpit with just your mouse. So, you can download the game from Steam, make sure you get IL-2 Cliffs of Dover Blitz, and then get the add-on to Brook Edition. Come into the Warbirds of Prey server and join us on these bomber hops. We'll teach you how to launch a mission, and you don't, you don't need to know a lot about the flying. You can just go along for the ride and see if, you're, see if your pilot and your guys survive. It's, uh, gives a different, unique experience than this, jumping in a fighter and shooting stuff down all the time. The other thing to the guys at Team Fusion, we would really like to test the no AI control if you can add that to the difficulty list to run a server. Right now it's not a part of the difficulty list. Only uh, no AI ground control. If you can add the no, uh, no AI control and give that um, tick box available to the server controllers Anonymous and I can t can start running tests on that to see if that allows us to take a group from a spawn point which then would eliminate a lot of the AI flights that are in the game you, you wouldn't even need them anymore you wouldn't and pilots wouldn't have to jump into a plane situation you can have them, and you can and you could do this type of format like we're doing, but the capability of a guy like Anonymous taking up 12 fighters and me taking up, you know, 18 bombers, he commands the fighter groups, and I command the bomber groups, and we fly the mission, just the two of us can add a whole nother a whole nother twist to uh, to online capabilities and online the online multiple player game those servers that want to have the AI controllable um, we could turn it on for those that don't want it they could tick the box and turn it off but right now in the difficulty list that we use for online servers it's not available and I tried to do it and put it in, and it's just not taking. And I think it just is in the coding that it's not in the multiple player selection available. So if anyone like Oscar or Artis can get a hold of me, um, I think this would be an easy add-on to really create a, a unique side to multiple player that is the co-op and single player side. All right, beginning our descent. I think we got through that one pretty clean with those fighters hitting the coast and earlier anonymous. That's why nobody hit us. So the other thing we've learned is you can't change positions when you jump into a mission flight. It kills all the planes. The only way that you can get out of the flight and Anonymous figured out that you gotta hit the, eject the canopy, then jump out. 
I'm just going to fly with this group to Rochester, yeah. to Rosewood, nine. and see if they land and then despawn in 30 seconds. We've really got a lot of neat things happening here at Warbirds of Prey that if you'd like to come in and join us, that'd be great. It would be even fun to get two purple, like if I'm in the bombardier seat and you're in the gunner. <laughs> Because then I can really rip on you, man. Shoot that plane down. What are you doing? Come on. I think it. I think it can really make the a plane's conversation, especially with Discord or Teamspeak, quite into interesting banter. All right. What commander made you a gunner? You're blind. Shoot that guy. <laughs> Next hop we're going to take, I'm going to shut the stream down. Next hop we'll take is I'm going to change the Wellingtons. And we're going to launch a Wellington raid on Boulogne. And then I'm going to jump in, we're going to jump in the bombardier seat of the Wellington 1C. The 1C late uh, uh, toggle, uh, the toggle dimmer cover is not working. Well, at least we're home. Yeah. White cliffs are visible. I think what I was also going to do is, uh, like you said, Anonymous, put some incursion blue patrols yeah, in deeper over the coastline. Yeah, yeah. We, oh, yeah. We've got to add the flak. Also here at Warbirds of Prey, we're looking for a person that likes working with Mission Builder or building dioramas that would love to build us uh, neat flak stations um, and flak station groups and start to develop that not only in France but also in um, on the English coast or flak around airfields looking for somebody to build uh, AAA stations. So if you're a diorama guy, whoa, must have hit a lot of wind there. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good because I redid this one. You got some in the group that are going down correctly. I'm in a group that's kind of flying kind of funky. We'll see what happens. I think it also might be when you're trying to descend from so much altitude from one point to another. Maybe if I put in some gradual steps, right? That's what it needs, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think they'll do this yo-yo uh, -yo crap. Yeah, I think I'll probably be back at some waypoints, gradual ones, because it's just like you know. Like yeah, they drunk. dive and then they go up like they're drunk. 
because I, I think they're trying to descend, but I think the AI thinks they're going too fast. And then they pull up the slow down. Oh, don't run into that guy. Thank you. Again, if you're just joining me, call signs Black Knight. Hey, hit that like button and subscribe. Just going for uh, some test rides and doing some bombing with my buddy Anonymous. We're flying back to Roseford right now. South end by the sea, we'll get a landing. See if these guys do a proper landing and then um, despawn in that 30 second time frame. Yeah, I think it has to deal with descent and speed. I think you may be right with that, putting in a, uh, a descending waypoint list. Then that way we won't be diving so... But there are some I see below me flying correctly. You know what I mean? Like what's making our group go tits up. like being on a roller coaster <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you're you're going up to the top of the top of the roller coaster and you're like okay we're at the top and we're going over 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 yeah 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 we're almost there so this is how the bombers used to get on the car so yeah I think we might be able to break that. Now, if you've got Audible, listen to a good book. <laughs> uh, so it's it's kind of nice sometimes you get in those long hops if you're all by yourself and you do jump in a bomber seat or in a bomber, you do put it on autopilot, you can, I don't know, if you don't have good friends on, you can always put on a good book. Catch up on some of that light reading. <laughs> You're still doing the yo-yo? Yep. Just about over wits the ball. commander just said that they got to keep up and I think the commander is already close to the deck.
approaching East Church.
We are over south end. Looks like we're dropping. Ah, okay. I gotta fix the altitudes. You there, Anonymous? Yeah, we could do that. You there? I was trying to check in with Anonymous. I see what the problem is. I think some of the groups on that raid are not zeroed out. They should all be down at 500 feet. Why are some acting on their own? Uh, that I'm not, not sure about. I think we're beginning to descend now. I haven't gone back up yet. I think we've started our descent. Still there, Anonymous? Uh, well. My guy started his descent. I'm now below. We'll see what happens. Okay. Inside, join the circuit. Yeah, I got joined the circuit. Yeah, it's telling us to drop now. Mason, attention, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Join the circuit, which means we just started to descend. I think we started to descend. Yeah, we're higher than the seventeen thousand. That's rather interesting because the mission has us all descending. You know what I mean? It's like nothing in the mission file saying why we, we shouldn't be at the same descent as everybody else. I'm curious. I think I'm going to hang out here for another five minutes and see what happens. If it doesn't happen, then we'll hit eject. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm getting closer to the ground. But yeah, same here. I've got a group underneath me getting closer.
I just hit return to base. Let's see if that helps. I'm going to try and command the whole flight to go five, six navigation, and then I'm going to hit five return to base. See if that helps. Yeah, I'm dropping altitude now. Yeah, we're going down now. So anonymous, you ready? Yeah. Go tab. Is your recipients maroon or yellow? Um. When you hit tab, is recipients maroon or yellow at the top? Yellow. I'm on yellow now. Go ahead. Hit hit one. Then select, what, uh, select flight. Yeah. Once you hit select flight, I want you to go to navigation six yeah. and, and click five. Yeah, nothing's come up in the, in the red writing box. It's not working. Now, hold on, let me try something. Say so, it? Definitely come up and say returning to base, so it's definitely not working. Well, I'm dropping altitude quite a bit. I'm at 13 now. What's your altitude on your gauge? Uh, 14. Yeah, yeah, I'm dropping hard. I haven't pulled, I haven't pulled the duck. I haven't climbed back up yet. Is yours, is yours descending consistently? He's going down, coming back up again. It's not pretty. Good. Yours isn't. Yours isn't coming back up. No, no, not really. Mine's at twelve thousand feet now. What's yours read? That's it. Yeah, I'm setting up to land here. I'll just leave on and see what happens. Then. I've got the airfield below me. I can see the airfield. Yeah, I still see your package above me. Yeah, I'm going straight down now. I'm at 10,000. I'm right over uh, South End Harbor. Yeah, I am. It's not landing. Yeah, I just dropped a ton of speed. I'm coming down again. I just uh, de-throttled quite a bit. I'm doing 100. And, I'm doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah, he just another he did another call out for four fourth wing and third wing. Second wing, join the circuit. We must be getting called to land. Cause um, I just took another dive. I'm below nine thousand. I'm I'm coming to nine thousand feet.
Maybe they start up high and keep coming down. You would think the whole flight, though, I have them coming in at 500. This one, the other day, exactly the same as this. Yeah, but... My question is, is where's the rest of the bombers? There's only one group up here, and I'm still coming down. I think I'm going to land. Oh, turning in towards, dropping down again. This is the one that did it I just kept going around around in circle when it got down. Well, I redid the airfield landing. When you said that, I fixed it. Right. So we'll see what happens. I'm curious if they finally get on the, if all the groups get on the ground. Yeah, I'm at 8,000 feet. What's your altitude now? Ten thousand. Okay, so you are coming down. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I've got a bomber below me. Looks like he's setting up to land. Yeah, look, you've got to join the circuit again. Yeah, yeah. This can last time is exactly what happened last time. Today. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I just, I'm dropping again. I'm below 7,000. There's two more, even lower than me, setting up on the airfield. I don't know. I think it might work. I, I have faith that something works. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the fun thing about Cliffs of Dover, is that it's so quirky and sometimes you don't never know what you're going to expect and then when it comes off beautifully you're like it worked yep i'm dropping again i'm going to see if i can see somebody landing i don't see anybody landing or parking yet no uh, this is actually what happened to me Let's yeah, they see. Down, they got to a height and they just get cruising around. Alright, I'm well below 7,000 feet though. I'm at 5,000 feet. I'm trying to see if there's anybody in a circuit to take the runway. Because that first five, it looked like they dropped low right away. And then they're not, they're not All here right, I'm anywhere. Back. Roger. They're not here anywhere. So I don't see them. I just see your group and my group, Anonymous. Let's see. I'm now at 4,800. I'm now making another turn. I just dropped again. I'm now at 4,000. How's the stream looking, Toto? Pretty good? The man said he's back. The myth, the legend, John Wick. <laughs> All right, I'm dropping again. All right, I 
got a plenty right next to me. Yeah, it's looking fine, yeah. I just realized I needed to turn off Discord. Yeah, I'm just glad the chat window, <laughs> I'm wondering if the chat window works. If it, uh, if people can get on and send messages while I'm live streaming. And if it's showing up on the screen, so like, if you sent me a chat message, is it coming up in that box, Toto? That box to the left-hand side of the screen that says live chat? All right, Mr. Anonymous, I am at 2,000 feet. Let's see what happens. Yeah, my guy's going really slow. <coughs> he hasn't made his turn for the base yet. out here in the field so oop making my turn here we go I'm looking back at the base let's see what happens I don't hear my gear getting lowered kind of listening for that stuff I think I'm on my uh, upwind leg or downwind leg. Let's see what happens. About in the trees. landing but I'm landing in the trees that's gonna hurt I flew the trees my guy belly landed I must not have any gear my guy belly landed get out of this seat I'm gonna spawn in at Roseford and see anything coming down that's weird all right anonymous I'm gonna spawn in at Biggin Hill if you want to go ahead and hit eject yeah I think it's going to waste your time yeah yeah I'm going to hit eject, spawning in at uh, Big and Hill. I'm going to reboot this, I think. Give it a reboot. It's been on since 4 o'clock this morning, so give it a minute. Copy that. All right, I'm going to end the stream and then restart it. So, end...